and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdos Knights, which is our next deck in our uh, five zero Friday stream. Uh, we didn't do too, too well with Demir Control, but we're going to try out Rakdos Knights here. And most notably, I wanted to try this deck because it has four Oathsworn Knights in it. And this is a card that I've never uh, played before at all. So I want to go ahead and give this deck a try. So what these 5 Friday streams are about, as, as you probably know, but in case you don't, these are uh, lists that went 5 in leagues on Magic Online, and Magic Online published them. And so I picked out three decks. Um, from the past week, uh, they usually put out 5-0 lists on Mondays and, Mondays and Thursdays. And um, so there's, there's a couple of different spicy ones. The, the blue-black control, of course, like I said, we didn't do as well with that. But this Rakdos Knights um, is kind of popping up a little bit more, and so I want to give it a try. But yeah, Oswar Knight, this is a card I haven't played at all. So this is a 3-mana zero, 0-0, zero, but it does ETB with 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters. It has to attack each combat of Able, so that's not great. But if damage would be dealt to it while it has a plus one, plus one counter on it, you just prevent the damage and you remove a plus one, plus one counter from it. So basically, you have your three mana four, four. If they block it with a two, two, you just prevent that damage, but then but then you have to remove a counter on from it. And so then it's just a three, three from now on. And then they could block it with a one, one, and then it turns into a two, two, and so on. So it, it goes down in power. The one good thing that this card uh, the one reason to play this card is it does kind of match up well against the Simic decks. It's good against Oko in the fact that it, if you Elk this card, then it just turns into a much better threat. Um, if So if Oko would turn this into an Elk, it would be a 3-3 three, three with the counters on it. So, you know, it could just be like a 7-7 seven, seven right away. And then it doesn't have like those those last two abilities that you don't really even want anyway. So honestly, maybe playing this with Oko is actually kind of good. Maybe I should make a Simic deck with this plus Oko, and Oko just turn, turning this thing into an Elk makes it better, honestly. Hmm, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, besides that, it's pretty good against Wicked Wolf. You know, like, the all the Simic decks are playing Wicked Wolves to try to fight stuff. If, if you fight the Oathsworn Knight, all it does is just remove a plus one, plus one counter from it, and so it doesn't die. So, you know, it's kind of good there, too. Um, besides that, obviously, we're very aggressive, Lots of, you know, all ones and two drops with, with our knights. We got four Ember Cleaves in here, so that's exciting. So, you know, we're just trying to, to attack and Ember Cleave up either a dinosaur or some knights um, or a skeleton warrior, I guess. So that's that's what our deck's trying to do. Pretty straightforward here. The sideboard looks pretty, pretty poor, I to be honest. But I, again, I'm just playing like the exact 5-0 list. Like, so this list went 5-0, but this sideboard looks pretty poor. Um... I mean, we just got a whole bunch of Massacre Girls if if we want them. I'm not sure exactly where we want the Massacre Girls. I'm not sure exactly what they're trying to do, but there's four of them in here. So there must be a, a reason that we really want Massacre Girl. Spyglass, I'm assuming, is for Oko Nissa decks. Um, there's, a you know, the full play set of those in. I do like Drill Bit against Control. I like having the four Drill Bits. I like that. I like Drill Bits. Um, and an extra Duress, so five discard spells against Control. I like that. A couple more... A couple Legion Zens against the aggro decks. I like that too, but I don't really like these four Spyglass, four Masker Girl. But we're going to go ahead and uh, give this a try. Yeah, yep, you can keep on adding counters to Oathsworn Knight and basically make it indestructible if you have something like uh, four mana Vivian that can add counters to it. All right, so with these with these, um, with these these 5-0 decks, we're going to go ahead and play them in ranked. The plan is to play five matches, but we kind of stopped after three matches with Demir Control, but... We'll see if we play, like, five matches or so. Yeah, Oswar Knight and Ember Cleave, that is a very nice combination if they're they're playing creature decks. It's true. It's true. So, yeah, let's let's try this out. Uh, correct. Like, these, these were all decks that in the leagues on Magic Online, people played them in the leagues there and, and went five wins and zero losses. Correct. And then... And then Wizards publishes all of the decks that are all the unique decks. Anything that's at least 10 cards different from any other deck, um, they publish those lists each Monday and Thursday. Most of them are, are just kind of like your normal best decks of the format, you know, like your food decks and all that kind of stuff. But uh, especially right now, these 
this week. There weren't weren't really too many spicy ones, but trying these two decks out. Alright, we draw red mana, we will have an awesome hand. But of course, if we don't draw red mana, we won't have a two drop. We'll just go one, three, three. And we get to see how this Oathsworn Knight plays. Because yeah, I haven't played this card yet. So we get to see how this card plays. Uh, they just published the, the deck list, I don't know, on, on like their website. Uh, it's easy to find them, probably. Yeah, Deckmaster is still down. It's been a week now. I just use MTG Goldfish to find them. MTG Goldfish is the easiest site to use. It's a lot easier than wizard sites. But I think if you go to mtgo.com, is that the wizard site? Yeah, if you go to mtgo.com, Magic, you know, which is Magic the Gathering Online, um, they're posted there. There's a tab for deck lists, and they have all like the different formats. And so if you go to the standard league ones. Um... I guess I'm playing Oathsworn Knight this turn. So I don't need a shotgun with the Blood Crypt right here. So yeah, so that's the wizard site that you can find them is just mtgo.com. Oh, Sword Knight, of course, has to attack every single turn. It's not like I could just sit back and not attack. That block honestly makes no sense for our, our opponent. Jump block the 4-4. Four, four. I guess it, I mean, I guess it, it does reduce the power from 4 to 3, I guess. Never mind. So I guess that's how it makes sense. But they could have just, if they would like, if they want to chump block, they could just chump block the Knight of the Ebon Legion and make me spend 3 mana. But I guess, I guess they value getting one counter off this Oathsworn Knight more than making me spend 3 mana. I'm probably throwing away the gutter bones here, but I think that's okay. Yep, Magic Online has leagues. That if when you play you play in a league and there's five rounds in the league, and if you win all five rounds, you go five oh, then your deck gets published. Would I rather deal three damage to them or play Stormfist Crusader? Probably play Stormfist Crusader. And <laughs> the knight's gonna be successful mostly because no one's quite sure how to play against it. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, with with 
Questing beast d damage can't be prevented. <sighs> Claws. They could have blocked. Um, could have blocked both the Oathsworn Knights last turn and killed them both. So yeah, it basically stops the it stops this ability here. The if damage would be prevent that damage. So the damage doesn't get prevented. You'd still remove a plus one, plus one counter, though. But it stops the prevent that damage clause. All right, so far so good. We won game one. So we're supposed to board in any of these? Like, do I play Legions in against Gruul? Drill bit to rest. Ma like, am I s this is a Masker Girl matchup? It doesn't really seem like it. So do I... S do I just say nothing? Maybe play Legions in instead of Order of Midnight? Because that's, like, the one thing that... Maybe I take out Order of Midnights and play Legions End instead. That art looks a lot cooler than that art, though. Yeah, 3-3 three, three would kill a 4-4 four, four knight if Questing Beast was out, yeah. All right, I'll just play the Northern Midnights. Yeah, I guess there's there's no Murderous Riders in here. So not great removal. But I don't think my deck's trying to remove stuff. I think it's just trying to attack. I guess Murderous Rider's not a very good attacker. Yeah, it does feel weird not having Grasp in the sideboard. I guess it's just going for the Spyglass, I guess. Um Yeah, I don't know. We're just we're just one game into the Rakdos Knights. So I'm not sure you know how it feels versus Boros Knights. They're pretty similar decks though. Ah, just what I wanted to draw. Another land. I guess my opponent's probably playing Oko. Like, they're splashing blue, so usually when you splash blue, it's for Oko, maybe Royal Scions. Maybe Brazen Borrower, but for like those three cards. We already got the opponent in the tank. Turn two. Don't know what to do about this Gutter Bones. So the reason why I kept my hand is because of Ember Cleave. Very, very powerful card. Um, you know, as a four lander. Hoping to draw other things to fill out the curve. All right, I figured it out. I 
If I knew I was going to draw land land for my first two and I was going to have six lands, I would have mulliganed. I kind of assume they have something to kill Knight of the Ebon Legion here that they wanted me to tap out. You know, so they have like a Bone Crusher Giant or something like that. And I, I assume that's what they were thinking about on turn two, whether to Bone Crusher Giant the Gutter Bones or play the Goblin. playing arena basically since um since it's been in open beta hey what's up taco hero thanks for your twitch prime sub i've been playing magic for a long time before that but arena yeah ever since it's been in, in open beta ow Yeah, Rimrock Knight's not a, a bad... Yeah, it's not too bad of a draw here. Allows me to... I assume when they just, like, put two big creatures... Like, a big creature in front of each of these. Okay. So I'll have... This get plus two plus zero to kill that thing. And then we'll Ember Cleave the Gutter Bones. I'm not killing Nyssa. I'm killing two of their creatures. Stop. I could have done both on the same thing and killed Nyssa. I kind of like that, though. Our bond was forged in battle. <laughs> And many training sessions. Rise, my elemental friend. Wouldn't mind another one of those. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Like an oath sworn knight, that wouldn't be bad.
Tomer's ambush is pretty bad. Riding register. That's a big night here. Zombie dinosaur night. You think it's time to go face with the 8-7 double striker? There is no virtue without bravery. No, Demir wasn't too slow. It was... We played, we played some close games. Our deck was just a little worse than our opponent's decks. It wasn't really like a true control deck. It was more like a flash deck. A uh, Fibble Thip Brawl deck? Had to play a lot of blue cards. Why does Embercleave have to be legendary? Why can't we have two of them? Um, I mean, this Royal Scion is just going to kill me. So we need to use Karn to turn Embercleave into a to a creature and then spark double Embercleave. Is you're saying if we do that, could we still equip it to the other creature? Retreat is a valid I strategy. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Honestly. My opponent, they're just playing like team or aggro, basically kind of like rule aggro splashing for Oko Royal Scions. 
Maybe Brazen Borrower. No, they're, they're not doing adventure stuff. I mean, they have Bone Crusher Giant, but no, they're just regular aggro. Hey, Warheart. So you can pay the equip, but it unequips itself instantly because it's a creature and so it can't equip creatures. Yeah, Joan Adventures is pretty good. Um, I love Lucky Clover plus um, Beanstalk Giant. Like basically, anytime you can have Lucky Clover, then Beanstalk Giant. Uh, that's just so powerful. You, you get so many lands. Um, I think it's just pretty awesome combination there. All right, we're back on the play. We're going to uh, mulligan. All right, there we go. Got a good hand. Um, what are we putting back? I think I want to keep the third land, I think. kind of think I put back gutter bones. Yeah, I'm going to put back Gutter Bones. You made an Oko deck using user Salt Rope Me using your Orzhov Knights deck. Oh, you oh you made an or Oko deck user Salt Rope You. Okay. But you play in the Orzhov Knights deck. There we go. Okay. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Awesome. So it says, thanks a lot for that wonderful moment. So yeah, you're welcome, Warheart. But hey, glad, glad you're enjoying the Orzhov Knights. That's good, that's good. Do you ever feel that playing so many different decks never makes you a master a few decks to perfection? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'd not... Um, yeah, I, I'm not really mastering any decks to perfection. Um, but that's not that's not really my goal. I want to have, um, you know, stuff for everybody to play, basically. But, but yeah, I'm not... It does, you know, come out of... That downside, I'm not mastering anything because I'm not playing any deck enough to master it. By master, it really means like hedging out like the the perfect 75 and and everything that that you're really comfortable playing, like just the yeah, like the perfect 75 and like having like the perfect cyborg plans for what you want in every matchup. But that's okay. I'm not like playing tournaments or anything like that and just i'm making informational and entertaining twitch stream and youtube videos so normally i think i would attack with the fervent champion here but i guess i, I really want to get this rotting regisaur down but normally we would just attack with both and um rimrock knight the champion but it feels like playing rotting regisaur is pretty valuable 
What do you think about the new cards for Historic? I really like their choices. I'm, I was worried whenever they announced that how they talked about cards like Worm Coil Engine and Dark Confidant and um, Thoughtseize and things like that. And I'm, I'm glad they don't have any just really um, singularly powerful cards that just go in every archetype like a Thoughtseize that would just warp the metagame around it where you just have, um, you know, Thoughtseize and tons and tons of different decks and everything and, and just raise the power level of the format by putting Thoughtseize in it. Um, so I'm glad it's just, it's a, you know, a lot of build around cards and cards that, that go in kind of different specific archetypes, but not just everything. I think they made some good choices. No, I, I believe it's it's one for one for all historic cards now. I believe they, they you know they they started by saying it was going to be two for one wild card redemption, but I believe it's just going to be one for one for everything now. <clears throat> so we're one point off of killing them if I just put them both on the gutter bones. I think it's probably best to get their all their creatures off the battlefield. I don't know. Maybe this other Rimrock Knight is kind of a waste. Maybe we just do this. We'll, yeah, I guess we just let him keep the goose. And we'll just play this other Rimrock Knight here. Yeah, that's probably better and save this other one. Yes, I've played a lot of Paper Magic in my day. I used to travel to tournaments every weekend. But I've settled down and live in the stream life now. So that also gets the card out of my hand with Rimrock Knight now, <clears throat> with casting that, so I don't have anything to discard to Rotting Regisaur. So that's good. Yeah, Demir deck, I mean, we, we lost some close ones. This is rough. It's just infinite creatures. We could use that Embercleave. The land shall conquer you. Be a good time to draw a legendary artifact. Um, I'm not. I'm not too big on Esper stacks myself. I like. I like the Mardu. Like you know, yesterday I played Mardu Enchantments, basically Mardu stacks type deck. Um, I like that more than Esper. I, I like Mardu more, and we, you know, did good 
um, over in ranked yesterday with the Marty one. We went three two, beat beat both Oko decks we played. I like that deck more than Esper. Yeah, it has, yep, it has uh, Outlaws Merriment, Theater of Horrors, Deafening Clarion. The Clarion's a great card. So you only have two blockers. It's not going to be enough. They're at five life. I guess it is. No, it's not enough. Yeah, we pump. Got to pump the Rimrock Knight to make it five. Because they can block the two big creatures with Ebon Legion and Rotting Regisaur. Oh, there we go. Well, now they need to block Rimrock Knight and just hope I don't pump Knight of the Evan Legion. But obviously I would. All right, we were at number 159 to start the day. <clears throat> but at 03 with Demir Control, dropped us down quite a bit. We'll see if we make it back up with Rakdos and Gruul. Get some attacking in. All right, there we go. All right, now we're going to get Demir control. That's a good hand. Gutter Bones hits harder. I'm going to go with that. Put the finishing touches on the Demir Control upload for YouTube. Basic Mountain. I don't love seeing that with my Stormfist Crusaders. Don't shock. Don't shock. Boo. Uh, Sky Knight Vanguard. Isn't Sky Knight Vanguard and isn't that a Boros card? This is really rough having these two mountains. Yeah, this hurts. Okay, so can you touch on your Sky Knight Vanguard use usage in Boros Knights versus some of the other RK decks I've seen with either Rimrock or Bone Crusher? Yeah, you can definitely go Rimrock. You can definitely go Rimrock or Bone Crusher instead of. Sky Knight 
the Sky Knight Legionnaire. I, the Sky Knight Legionnaire is not that good of a card. So yeah, you can definitely take that card out and replace it. Certainly wish we had more than one black mana. Life would be a lot better. I think if we just had triple black, we could have just dropped all these Knight of the Oven Legions. Yeah, if if I had if I had Sky Knight Vanguard and a, a Boros Knight tech, that would have been a I would have been playing a list that was made by somebody else. So yeah, if you, if you want to replace that, definitely feel free to. I, I like getting that uh, Runaway Steam can out of here to have them have less mana. Blacklands Paragon. Don't think that'll do it. All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I block, they can. If I block one of the two twos, they can pump their team with Runaway Steamkin. It's like they have they have fourteen damage here. If they do pump with Steamkin, but then they only have two mana. They only have one card. So I think we're good. Which I guess if they if they would pump with Steamkin, and then if their one card was the. The one mana deal three with spectacle, that thing, if, then that would have put me down to one and then I would have died to Crusader. So I could have, so I guess I would have died to that card. Yeah, Cardboard Live looks cool, but I have to like apply and get on a waiting list and stuff, and that's just not something that. Thrilled about doing in life. Um, okay, so we're up a game. So we're going to play these Legion's Ends for sure. Is this like, is this what I'm supposed to be playing Massacre Girl for? Do I just go like 4x Massacre Girl here? Seems so expensive. Five mana. Yeah, I tried that with the just download cardboard live. I tried it. Doesn't work. I have to like email somebody and get on a waiting list and stuff. So yeah, if we take out 
I mean, Stormfist Crusader doesn't seem great on the draw, giving my opponent extra cards and we both lose life. Honestly, that doesn't really seem that appealing. I don't know. I guess we'll try it though. I'm going to cut one of the four Ember Cleaves since we're probably not going to be attacking as much. Oh, Anamusha is Deckmaster. Did they kill Deckmaster? Is it not going to get fixed? I don't I don't know any inf I don't have know any information. Hey, what's up, Mozar? Thanks for that support there. I appreciate that sub. Well, that was terrible. I'm having shock, shock, draw, land, play the running register. That that was terrible. Instead of playing the Knight of the Ebon Legion, I could have just spent the two mana and put Gutter Bones back in my hand, in which case I would have been discarding the Gutter Bones, and then I would have been able to play the Crusader and the Knight here. And obviously, for how it worked out with the shock, shock, I wish I would have done that. Girl wouldn't have even been good. All right, I'm getting rid of those things. All 
right. On the play, we're going back to like our game one plan, getting rid of these Masker Girls. Wouldn't even have been good. Okay. It's another bad hand. I think we have to keep the double red in case of Embercleave. Like they have shock. They're just gonna shock this Evan Legion. Wow, everything's going pretty slow. If I don't play Knight, they just shock the gutter bones. Oh no, no shock. Oh, wait a minute. I can't replay Gutter Bones. My whole plan was just to replay Gutter Bones here. That was my whole plan. But I can't because I actually only have like the one black source for that. So let's say they do have shock. I activate Knight of the Ebon Legion, then they shock Knight of the Ebon Legion. Doesn't feel like they have shock. So why would they not want Robber to, to trade with like Black Lance Paragon? They don't have shock. Like, why? Why do they want to keep the robber around? Now it does four damage. Is that more valuable now?
So yeah, so they just end up trading there anyway. So I know we'll just have to discard the gutter bones to Rotting Registrar anyway. But I think it's worth two life to put it in hand in case they do just kill Rotting Registrar here with a couple of burn spells or a lava coil. Or a slaying fire. It's like that's an instant. Like they should have waited till I go to discard and then do that. So now that's a problem. Alright, then with four mana having removal to kill. Rotting Registor and Knight of the Ebon Legion, that was a problem. So that's where Knight has to attack. This is a good attacker. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're referring to of some move that it was a punt. I don't know. What? Oh, oh! I didn't do damage to them, so I don't get to put gutter bones back in my hand. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, why? Why did it just suddenly skip? Why didn't it let me do this? And I was like, oh yeah, we don't get to actually do that because we didn't do damage to them. Makes the sense. Wow, that's pretty risky. Not blocking with Steamkin. Just let me get these two gutter bones and go down to one. Are they gonna like kill me or something? I mean, these these things have to attack, so it's not like I could hold them back on defense. GG. Nice, nice close game there. Torbran. Doing a whole lot to keep my opponent in that one. <laughs> Do you think Oathsworn Knight can join the Gatewatch and get his own enchantment? Should, right? Oathsworn Knight. Yeah, really good matchup there for those Sworn Knights. Um, you know, because they only have damage, and so each damage thing they do only just removes a 1 1 counter from it. Those Sworn Knights looked pretty good so far, honestly. It's looked pretty good. It's been impressive. Especially for a card that I haven't played before this. Yeah, Bone Crusher Giant and Questing Beast, they have that, that clause to prevent the damage. I 
I could have gone Gutter Bones plus Knight, and then next turn I'd, I'd have turn three Ember Cleave attacking. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that. But now we good. All right, four drill bit and a duress. Coming on in here, we're gonna take out two cleave, three Reggie. How does that look? Looks pretty good. Honestly, I could probably cut like two land. Or at least one land. I, I could have cut a land, too, with taking out the Reggies. Yeah, I could Ember Cleave the next turn. I still could have Ember Cleaved. We didn't need the Mountain. That that Tricolor land casts Ember Cleave. Alright, well, it looks like we took out land. Like, yeah, like this thing, this thing casts Ember Cleave. So we good. Casket. Hmm. I'm just gonna cast this thing. I wanna get the four power out there. Thought about using the boulder rush and then playing the other knights of the Evan Legion. I kinda like going this way. So I could have gone Fervent Champion, then Knight of the Ebon Legion, of course, but I don't want to put too much stuff in front of a, a Wrath. I'm, I'm not going to play more than two creatures. I think I'll just go the two creatures this route. But I don't really ever want to have, like, three creatures out now that they have... You know, like, before, I, I got to do that last game because they were a ways away from casting Time Wipe, but now that they're, you know, casting Time Wipe at any point... Oh, I should go with Sworn Knight here. Yeah, I should go with Sworn Knight. Definitely should have been a Sworn. Six mana. Man, this person just wants to send all these knights to prison.
Yeah, I think people are playing less Oko right now. In anticipation of a possible ban. I think that's that's kind of been happening here. Knight's going straight to, straight to jail. Don't pass go. I know, right? We need to destroy all enchantments card. Okay, hey dragon. I'm I'm really happy to help. I'm sorry things have been going uh, kind of rough for you, but hopefully you're feeling better and and things are looking up and you know you're staying positive and everything like that. But yeah, I'm happy to be here to help any way I can. Rakdos Knights. They went, toured, they toured the prison. They had a, a week-long vacation, a five-day, five-day vacation to tour the prison, but still came through victorious. And 3-0. Uh, this Rakdos, yeah, these these were, again, these were 5-0 lists from Magic Online Leagues. So these were just uh, decks that went 5-0 uh, this past week. It is pretty, yeah, that is tr very flavorful for the Azorius deck to put everybody in prison. That's true. We started today at number 159. And then, so we went 0-3, then 3-0, and we're at 275. So if you go 500, you drop. You're going to do better. All right, Temple of Scryumph probably means Jeskai. Ooh, basic Mountain, maybe not. All right, that's unfortunate not drawing a red source. Here, not drawing anything to play this turn. Two. Yeah, Deckmaster's still down. I don't want to play Rotting Register yet, because I don't want to just start discarding cards from my hand all the time. Let's slow this down. I'll protect Alright, it'd be really nice to draw a red source to have Fervent Champion kill this Teferi. Uh, nope. Not a red land. Here goes nothing.
I mean, this thing's over. Uh, I guess we'll just play magic cards. Hey, what's up, Eric? Thank you, Eric. Thank you for gifting out five subs. So we got five new subs. We got Joe Cool. We got Pole Smoker, Make Makel, Kitato. We definitely played some Kitato decks before, and Sebit. Awesome. Thank you so much. That gets us to our sub goal here. First sub goal of the day. Don't worry. It's your birthday Monday. You want to pay it forward. Oh, thank you so much, there, Eric. Thank you. Happy birthday, of course. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. Trust me, I have a plan. The next standard BNR announcement is on Monday. Eric's birthday. The eighteenth. All right, moving on. Good hand for opponent. Bad hand for me. I don't know exactly what I want to do here, though. I mean, I guess Drill Bit, you know, can take these Cavaliers and stuff from their hand. I'm not sure if I really want duress because you know, like those those cavaliers are are really like the big things. If we play drill bits, I don't love rotting register against the control decks. Um, they're excellent, not like super control, but I don't know if I want to just take out all the rotting registers though. I don't know. I don't know really what to, I don't really know what I would want to take out if we. Bring in all these drill bits. Oh, Sworn Knight? It's going to be smaller than their creatures? All right, we're gonna kind of trim our. We're gonna trim three of the three drops, and I'm also gonna take out a land since we're trimming three of the three drops. I mean, is it better to go to five? Or, you know, like we're ditching the Ember Cleave and just kind of hope we draw red mana this time? Um, go to five. All right, sometimes you just can't win.
Just keeping a seven card hand, grind at the top. I don't have land drops. Well, that's that's the kind of thing that can happen when you're playing a deck like this. Like you may just play a match where you just don't do anything either game, and it just happens. Uh, another one lander. All right, Stormfist Crusader. Hopefully, you're great. Yeah, Oko has not been banned yet. And Simic, yeah, Simic cards are not going to be bad. Like, it's not like if Oko gets banned, your other Simic cards will be bad. I'll just have to kind of wait till Monday and just see what happens. All right, pretty awesome hand over there, double reclamation. We've been helping out with the Crusader, giving them some extra cards though too. Let's see if they have a huge expansion explosion, which is what it looks like. Oh, well, they're just doing two. Alright, we got a backup Ember Cleave. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Cause then if we draw a land, we can like drop both of these. They, yeah, they had mana floating to cast the opt that they had from before. They had mana floating because of these wilderness reclamations. This is a matchup that gets harder for us post board. They bring in a lot more cheap removal. I just had an awesome hand. Yes, yeah, so these these yep, these basically they have triple the mana.
yeah, you can you can find the like the previous decks. You can find them over on YouTube, and there's a link to the decks there. Um, and then, but there's also the link to the all the decks also. So that was the ideal team of reclamation hands. Drop reclamation on four. Drop reclamation on five. Plus explosion. And then another explosion on six and another explosion on seven to f win the game. Like that doesn't get better than that. So hopefully they don't have as good of hands here for games two and three. Hopefully they used all their luck for game one. So we got drill bit duress. That's what we got. Hmm. Flame sweeps like a car that we have to kind of be worried about. I don't know if I'm supposed to like take out more Rimrock Knights. I don't know. I definitely want to get two Umber Cleaves out of here. This isn't really that much of an Umber Cleave matchup whenever they're just trying to play removal and bounce and things like that and not blockers. That sounds pretty awesome. Really hoping they don't have shock. Just play a tap land. There you go. Alright, so is Biogenic Ooze going to be a problem? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it will. I don't know. We'll see. We're just going to take the Reclamation. Hopefully we can Ember Cleave through a Biogenic Ooze. Was, of course, planning on just using the Rimrock Knight and then replaying it, but we'll play the 4-4 instead. All right, well, was, that double drill bit definitely helped. All right, now we're on the draw. All right, on the draw for game three. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 
Don't worry about it, it's too much. We win by turn four. Good points there. Hand's not nearly as good this time, especially without having without having those uh, drill bits. Those drill bits are just amazing. Um, Rotting Regisaur is just a one of right now, and that's definitely not a good draw. So they have Bone Crusher Giant, and I'm hoping they use it on Gutter Bones and not Stormfist Crusader. Okay, good. Unfortunately, no. Still no drill bits. So I can't stop them from playing a reclamation here. Hope hope they don't have reclamation. No, I don't think the format would have been more stable if we had a Mortal Sun. Mortal Sun just had yeah, six mana. When people are playing Okos on turn two, you can't, it's not that impactful. Like you have to have an answer for Oko on you know turn two. Well, they got Brazen Borrower for bounce, but otherwise they're trying to use, like, Red Removal. Elsewhere Knight is amazing against Red Removal. Yeah, as you see, they're coiling that 1-1 one -one instead. Right, they had the, the Bone Crusher Giant, so damage can't be prevented, because they stomped that turn. Also, I don't I don't know why like this is why these are in different piles. Like I don't know why those are separated. They should just be together. So just have one card in hand. Hopefully it's not explosion. I guess it I guess it's an explosion. It's really unfortunate. Should have just grabbed that Fervent Champion and played Fervent Champion. I should have just grabbed this Fervent Champion last turn.
I was really hoping they were going to double block. Yeah, Deckmaster's not working. About my only hope is like Ember Cleave, I guess. Oh, that's game. That's oh, just game. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe I get a flyer. I mean, that thing's just gonna kill me though next turn. Isn't that lethal? So that's 18. It's a lot of damage. So I have to have, they have to have nothing, even though they're scrying something at the top, and I have to have Ember Cleave on this Order of Midnight. They have to have no cards, but they just scry something to the top. They have explosion. All right, so three and two. Couldn't quite win on the draw. We're just a tad too slow on the draw. That that last card that they had for explosion for six stabilized that one. All right, so Rakdos Knights, as as I thought, this was okay. Um, you know, the main deck was pretty good. I think this was this is a good best of one deck. I like this like this main deck. I think this would be pretty good in best of one. But sideboard again, I I I just don't like Spyglass and Masker Girl at all. So I think that we were playing with a seven card sideboard. Like these cards just weren't useful ever. Never anything I really wanted to play. So we're just playing with a seven card sideboard, and that's not. That's not good. <laughs> Drill bit was awesome. Uh, wouldn't mind more discard. Drill bit was awesome. Um, Oswar Knight, pretty impressive, I'd have to say. I liked I liked how the card played, honestly. Um, yeah, so I, I liked how this card played. Uh, so that was that was something good. You know, like you know, learned learned something about Oswar Knight. I liked it. Um, and yeah, I think this main deck would be pretty good in best of one, especially like four Ember Cleaves in that format. Very powerful. All right, that's Rakdos Knights. Still a good showing. You know, you can't complain about a 3 2 in Mythic, right? So, like, nothing wrong with that um, at all. So, yeah, good, good showing still. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, 
I uh, hope you hit that like button and leave a comment. I would appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching some Rakdos Nights, and I'll see you for the next video.